hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to edit and update the data in laravel 8 so guys as we saw in previous two videos that we have fetched the data and added the data okay and now in this video we are going to edit this data and update the record into our database so guys let's get started so first let's go to this page called employee and go to this edit button so let's move over here inside employee folder at index we have created this table right and this is the edit button so let's create a url over here create a url with the employee forward slash give the id so what id you're going to pass this ids which we have shared over here so one two three so this ids we are going to call over here so let's take this and paste it as simple so id is done you can share as employee or else edit employee let's copy this url and create one route for it so let's go over here use a get method where you're going to paste this edit employee forward slash then your id whatever parameters you are sharing there and then let's move to a controller called employee controller so let's copy this employee controller at edit function so let's copy edit and go to the employee controller and create one edit function a simple public function edit function done so now you have passed this parameter right id so let's copy this id and you have to share over here so let's send that dollar id and now we are going to find that so how will you find using eloquent model we will find it so you need one model so we have already created one employee model right so let's create first one variable called employee is equal to where we are going to call the model employee so this is my employee model let's copy this employee model name colon colon find function where you are going to pass this dollar id copy and paste done and import that the class of this employee at the top as simple so we have imported that class and now guys you need to return view to inside the pages folder i have created one employee folder employee folder and inside that we need to create one edit so let's copy this and create a file with the name edit and send the variable using compact function so this employee variable you are going to share there let's go to our employee folder and create the file so let's click on employee edit dot blade dot php and now we are going to copy the same design as we have seen in add employee i'll show you let's click on add you can just see this right so let's copy the same design for the edit the data okay let's go to create control a c and paste control v as simple let's change the heading as edit employee data save and change the url to update employee done and then the column whatever the input fields let it be same and instead of submit we'll give update save and now let us refresh and check the data so let's click on edit you can still see the form okay we can see that with the id one has come right so let's get all the data of this one which we have shared from this controller so let's take this employee variable through this compact function and go to edit file done and let's create one value attribute open and close curly braces and paste that variable called employee and call the field name called name so what is this name that is nothing but our database column name email phone designation so same things we are going to call value 
paste this will be email the phone and the designation paste and one more thing guys which we have checked with the status so while inserting we need a default and while updating we will update this status also okay so now let's change that so first refresh and see that data has come perfect so now let us get that status also of this status let's come here let's copy this and paste once again minimize this sidebar status make this as checkbox checkbox and we'll mention this as status so let's take this out and remove this value paste directly and make it to status if it is equal to one use ternary operator to check this if it is one it will be checked if it is zero means it is unchecked so that will be let's remove this class active let's let's be clear if it is zero if it's one very clear let's get back refresh you can see the option so let's check this and when we update it should become one okay so now let's get back and start the code over here as simple create a button type submit update button let's go to the form with the update employee using method function with put method we will go okay put so let's copy this and what data you're going to update we required right so this is id number one you need to send that id also from here let's give forward slash dot and call the variable called employee employee and its id as simple let's take this url go to route route with the put method i'm using put so let's update this forward slash where i'm going to send that id and inside single quotes now we are going to pass to the controller let's go to the controller at update function so let's create one update function inside our employee controller let's go over here public function update function and inside this we have to update all the data so from while submitting the form we are getting all the request so let's type dollar request and we are getting the id also from the parameter url okay with this id let's go back to a controller and now guys we need to update the data so we are going to update the data using our eloquent model so let's create a variable called employee is equal to employee model so this is my employee model okay so let's copy this employee model name and paste over here so if you are using the employee model please import the class at the top of your controller as simple now let's find that what you're going to find this id so find this id paste and then update the column fields so first column we are going to update the name is equal to dollar request of your input fields so what input fields data is that from the edit blade we are getting this name email phone and designation okay and this status also so guys uh, let's copy that name the column names over here you can see email phone and designation email phone the input also is phone and designation so the input also is designation and finally one status so status 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 request of input of status is double equal to true then you need to update the if it is checked means it should update to one if it is unchecked means 
it should update to zero as simple so now let's update the data using update function and after updating we want to return and redirect back with the message with the help of status where the message will be employee data updated successfully as simple and where I want to redirect to the employee page so which page so this page okay so this at this page let's copy the URL and now once this status goes to this employee page you need to show the message okay so I will just show you that code over here so there's a small code to show the status of your message so let's get back to edit blade file minimize save and check the code also guys it's perfect so now let us try to update the data let's refresh so we are going to update the id1 and let's change this with prakash n and change the phone number to 555 and let's update this so i'm checking this and it should become to one okay so let's click on update employee data updated and here you can see that uh, data is updated n and the phone number is changed and the status also has become one over here perfect you can see in the db also so right now it's not loaded so let's load this refresh perfect so data has come so guys now let us try to update this third row funda of web it let's update this cool so you can see that data has updated and this zero is at is as it is because we didn't check that so guys we have successfully updated the data in laravel 8 and now guys in next video we'll see about deleting the data so guys in this video that's it so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share